Hey everyone, it's up North Collectors here. We are opening up the brand new release from Tops. This is an online exclusive, The Joy of Baseball. These are Tops X, I think one uh, play said. So you can see the little X up here, Bob Ross X. Uh, these are happy little boxes that Tops did of the artist that was famous on PBS. And he would paint happy little trees and things of that nature. And anyways, these are called Happy Little Boxes. You get 12 cards in one of these. One parallel, a chance at autographs. Autographs fall one in every four boxes. You can even pull a super short print of the artist himself, Bob Ross. That is, I would believe, a pretty sought-after card out of the set. These things sold out quickly. You could uh, hardly get them at all. I had them in the cart. And then I didn't have them in the cart. I had a collector's box in the cart, and I couldn't get that. And I didn't even know if I'd get these. Lo and behold, I got these, and I got four others. I don't even know how I did it, but um, thankfully I got some. So I thought I'd share it on the channel, at least these four boxes, and see what we get out of here. Um, you can see the back. Read it a little bit uh, better now without the plastic wrap on it. It says, each baseball game starts as a blank canvas. An unrefined piece of art to be painted by the swing of a bat. Throw of a ball and catch in a mitt. The players build a masterpiece of beautiful brilliance and happy little accidents until a final product is conceived. In this sense, baseball is a form of art. And the players are the artists. All right. Very interesting tops. Very interesting. All right, let's get into this. Let's see what we have here. We have our 12 card pack and we have this little thing in here what is this joy of baseball so this is huh i don't even know what this particular i didn't read about this but that's a nice one um this is yoshida um so this is an easel card i think these are short printed if i'm not mistaken let me know in the comments below um i think that is a short print i'm not going to open that one because it's just in the package by itself. So I'm gonna leave it there, see if we get one in another pack and then just go from there. Um, but yeah, before we start here, hit that thumbs up button, comment below, let me know what you think of the set. Uh, did you get any? And what do you think about Tops doing a set like this? We do have a parallel in here, so green. So they have what's called the palette, uh, the rainbow of colors. Um, and those parallels are based on that. Some are numbered, I believe, and some are not. All right, so here is the Bo Jackson. That's pretty sweet. And you have the back of the card here, card number 15. And see the difference between this one and that one. This is an easel uh, parallel, I believe, and these are just the base cards. So there's a nice Cal Ripken. Let me lower the camera just a wee bit so we can get a little bit better angle on the cards here. Um, Cal Ripken Jr. And oh, that's a, that one's staying in my PC. That's awesome. Tony Gwen. I'm a big Tony Gwen fan, so I'm going to put that over here. And then we have uh, Moreno, who's in the uh, playoffs, or excuse me, the World Series now with the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks. And then Bubba Thompson, uh, Texas Rangers. We have, oh, sweet, Albert Pujols. Let's see what this green is. Ooh, Ricky Hen. Oh, that's cool. It's like a canvas card. Um, and obviously his, um, uniform color match there with the Oakland athletics. That's sweet. I like that one. That one will probably stay in the PC too. Jordan Walker. This is some kind of an insert, I believe. Um, that looks pretty awesome. And then we have Terang, um, and we have Bryce Harper, Mr. Xander Bogart and Oswald Peraza. So, all right, box number one. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can get another one of those easel cards. I don't think so. Um, I think they're supposed to be short printed, but I don't know. Maybe not. I have not seen any other videos of this. I think there's a couple out there. There's like at least a handful out there on YouTube. I haven't seen any of the collector's boxes um, out there yet. I tried to get one of those, and that would have been really fun. You're guaranteed an autograph. Now, if you do get an easel card, looks like an, at least I got another one here. This is a nice one. Josh Young. So rookies. So maybe these aren't as uncommon as what I thought. All right. Let's look at what we get in this pack. Let's hope we can pull an autograph out of four boxes. I'm I'm liking this. I watched some Bob Ross um, programs when I was younger. Um, and so I do know who he is. I don't know all of his, you know, intricacies and uh, sayings and all that kind of stuff. I, I wasn't a cult follower of his, um, but 
Um, I do know who is. That's that's a pretty sweet one. I like the background of that Bradley one and Tatis, very fitting uh, surf in the background. And then we have, whoa, this is cool. Sandy Alcantara, that is sweet. And behind that, we have, ooh, a rookie autograph numbered green. All right, this is numbered to 99, Sandy Alcantara. That's a sweet card. And, our, oh, that's awesome. What a, what a nice autograph he has. Javier As Asad, uh, numbered, this, I'm guessing this is going to be numbered. Nope, it's not numbered. This is the, oh no, it is. Sorry, right there, duh. Right in the front, numbered to 75. 74 of 75. The Henderson was not numbered, but that's pretty nice. Nice autograph there. I don't know anything about Javier. Let me know if you do. And then we have a Yoshida uh, rookie, so that's a good one. Jason Veritek, former um, uh, star for the Boston Red Sox. Um, Jose Altuve, Patrick Bailey. Zach Gallon and Gunnar Henderson. Nice. That's a nice one, Gunnar Henderson. These cards are fun. I'm I'm a fan. I like them. Um, once again, I don't know a whole ton about Bob Ross. I just remember watching some of his um, programs when he would paint, and sometimes they were on on Saturdays, and as a kid, you're bored, looking for something to watch. You might watch him for a few minutes, but see what he's painting. And um, Yeah, anyways, he made it look easy, but... Uh, yeah, he. I know he has all kinds of sayings, and you see his stuff all over the place now. I think um, one of the websites that I looked at uh, on a checklist said he died in 1995, so I didn't realize he died that, that long ago. All right, see so what's in here. We got another one of these easel cards. Once again, I'm just going to keep it in its package. And this one is going to be Oscar Colas. All right, so Oscar, let's have you take a seat over here, and we will open up this next pack. Sorry for the bandage there. I burnt my hand. You don't want to look at the burn, so I figured I'll at least put a bandage on so you don't have to look at anything gross. All right, let's look at this. Let's look at the cards instead. Mookie Betts. We have uh, something else in here. Another color, this time not green. Tristan McKenzie. Uh, Ichiro, that's pretty sweet. Walking through the forest. And we have a Spencer Strider. That's nice. I'm curious to see what this one is because this is different. These are different here. Oh, Willie Mays. Nice. That's cool. Kind of a, I don't know, but I want to call it red, but um, not sure what the coloring is on that one. Um, don't get me on that or don't ding me on that. And there's an Aaron Judge. That's nice. That's sweet. I like the background on that one. Rainbow there. Not numbered. I don't think that this Willie Mays is numbered. No, nope, but it's just part of the palette of colors there. All right, so that's pretty sweet. And then we have a Raphael Devers base card. Jack Flaherty, Kerry Carpenter, Rodon, Brett Batty, and Tristan Casas rookie. So, all right, let's get in the last box here. Let me know what you guys think of this. Um, I think these boxes are selling on eBay for around $60 to $75, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, uh, would you be a buyer at that? I think they retail that, uh, were they 50 bucks a box? I think, I don't know if they were 50 bucks a box. I think they were, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, and then the collector's boxes, I believe were 150. So here's our easel card, Brett Batty. Brett Batty, this is an easel card. So that is pretty cool. I'll put Brett Batty in front of Oscar Colas just to give myself some room. And our last pack of this video, we have inside, hopefully maybe another autograph. I did like that autograph. Don't know much about him. I wish it was a name I was more familiar with, but hey, we'll take that. I'm actually looking for the Bob Ross short print. So maybe that's in here. Uh, there he is again, Assad. Um, and we have a Christopher Morrell. So back-to-back -back Cubs. I love the look of that background. That's pretty sweet. Uh, the snow, uh, cat mountains and the snow covered trees. That's pretty awesome. George Kirby. We have a Pete Alonzo. Nice. And then we have behind that a Fernando Tatis. That's pretty sweet. That's the second one we pulled of those. And then behind that we have a Grayson Rodriguez, nice. So that, that one's not numbered, but these are thicker and they kind of have that canvas feel to them again. A Grayson Rodriguez, 
So that's pretty cool. That's an insert of some kind. Like an old shed or barn in the background. And then we have George Springer, Freddie Freeman, Johnny Bench, and Manoa. So there you go, guys. We got quite a few different cards in here. We got those. We got some inserts here. We got uh, these artist easel cards right here. And then we got the autograph, which is nice, number to 75. We got these, which are kind of like the color palettes. Oh, the, sorry, this one is numbered. These both were numbered. I didn't see the numbering on that one. Numbered to 99, 50 and 99. So if you already commented below, uh, I got it. <laughs> I figured it out. Um, and the Ricky Henderson is numbered. It's down at the bottom. So sorry about that. I missed the numbering on those, but they are down at the bottom. So you guys probably already have commented because you are Eagle Eye card collectors. Um, I did not notice the bottom numbering. I was thinking it was going to be numbered more like this card here, up here. And even that is a little bit tricky to see. I mean, it's not if you're obviously nowhere to look, but um, the numbering is not always in the same spot. Anyway, so there you go, guys. Pretty sweet. Um, I'm a fan. I think it's fun. I mean, do does Tops do too many of these kind of gimmicky releases? Probably. Are some of them more fun than others? Yes. Um, is this one necessary? No. Is it fun? I think it is. And it is quite a bit different than the other ones. So I'm kind of a fan of it. I do like the artwork on the cards. I think it looks awesome. Um, and I like the idea. This is something fun. Uh, but hey, if, you, if you're a hater of it, leave your comments. It, you won't hurt my feelings. If you love it, leave your comments. If you're somewhere in between, leave your comments. I just like to hear what you guys think. Um, they do pump out these releases like crazy. So I totally understand if there's burnout or whatever. But if you're a big fan of this, let me know. And maybe you're not a baseball card collector and you're just watching this video because you love Bob Ross. Let me know that too. I would love to know more about him and about what you like about him. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, have fun collecting, and we'll see you in the next video.